thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in this hour. Amen. And I, I'm so excited. I'm excited. Amen. Of his power and of his anointing. Yes, 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 yes. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Amen. As I said, amen, I'm so glad that you came out to be with us. Amen. Here at the Master Revival Sons of God Fellowship Ministry, where we are preaching and teaching the revelation knowledge of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. My name is Pastor Evangelist Steve Lancaster. Amen. I am and here. Amen. Praise God and rejoicing. Amen. With with uh, uh, others. Amen. With all others. Amen. Praise God. My dear wife. Amen. Sister Sandra. Amen. And I am so glad that you came out. And a host of Amen. The Master of the Bible, Sons of God Fellowship Ministry. We just so glad that you came out to be with us on today. Amen. Praise God. Let's get ready to go into the Word of God. I mean, you know, the Word of God is already blessed. Amen. It's already blessed. Amen. We don't have to bless the Word. If anything needs to be blessed, is our ears. Amen. So we thank God today for God. You touching our ears, amen. You that's here that at home or maybe wherever you at, if if you can, just put your hands on your ears. Amen. It said, Father God, touch my ear that I may be able to hear those things that you have for us on today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, right now to put your hands on your head. Amen. Right here. Father, in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for touching our minds. Open our minds up that we may be able to hear those things of the spirit realm. Amen. God bless you. Oh, we thank you, Father. Oh, we give God the glory for the word. Thank you, Father, for speaking out of my lips only what you said, speak. And what you don't want to be spoken, don't let me speak it. Hallelujah. Oh, let's give Jesus the praise. Oh, glory to God. Praise God. Praise God. I tell you, God is a good God. Amen. I want everybody, everybody, if you can, look at the board, look at the screen here. Amen. We get ready to go into some deep revelation. Amen. St. John 21 and 12. Come. I want everybody to look at the screen. Because God is inviting us to another level. Amen. How many know we have not been to this place before? Every day, God is unfolding himself. Amen. Unto the world. God is unfolding himself unto the world. Now he inviting us to another level. How many of you know there's different levels in God? Higher heights and deeper depths. There are deeper depths and there is higher heights in God. How many of you know the Bible say in my father's house that there are many, many, many mentioned and if it was not so, I would have not told you so. How I many you know that those mansions is not, not uh, physical rooms? If anybody know anything about a mansion, a mansion is a great big place. House. They got many, 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 many rooms. But how I many you know that when Jesus said in my father's house, 
How many of you know that we are the Father's house? A house is a place, is a dwelling place. Amen. It is a temple. It is a dwelling place. And how many of you know that we are the dwelling place of God? Where God dwells. God dwells in his temple. How many of you know that we are the temple of God? Where God dwells. God dwells in his temple, church. Come on, somebody. Praise God. Let's give him the glory. God is in his temple. He's in his house. Amen. You know where God lives? He lives inside of you and I. Our whole being is God. Amen. Our whole existing is God. You take God, you take God out of the out of the place, then there will not be anything exists. So God lives inside of us. He said, Amen, in his father's house. There are many mansions. Well, in the spirit of realm, the Bible said the hour coming when the true worshipers must. We got a lot of worshipers. We got a lot of worshipers. But how many of you know we got over 1,014 uh, uh, religions? Thousands of religions. They started increasing. Men have their own laws and rules. But how many of you know that God have his law? Amen. And praise God in my father's house there's many mansions. Amen. That's why I said we have not been to this place before. Because we go into a new a new level of the spirit realm. Amen. In my father's house, maybe somebody doesn't limit God to one room. These rooms are not physical rooms, but these rooms are levels. Don't forget that. When Jesus said, in my father's house, there are many mansions. Amen. Hey, many mansions. Look at all of these mansions on the phone. Look at all these mansions on YouTube and other places, wherever you can see me or wherever you can hear me and you that's here in the midst. Look at all of these mansions. In my father's house are many mansions. How do you know that you are a mansion? And God have you on a level. Amen. Praise God in my father's house are many mansions. And if it wasn't so, I wouldn't have told you so. Amen. So in God's house, we all are one. We all are the house of God. Praise God. So God dwells in within our temple. He dwells with inside of us. Amen. In my father's house are many mansions. So, amen. God said, no more, my people, in this hour, amen, that you cannot limit me on one level. For there is so much that I am fulfilling. And there is so much that I am giving, amen, to my people. And if you are in the flesh, listen to me. God said, if we are in the flesh, we are going to miss our visitation. We can't afford it, church, to miss his visitation. St. John 21 and 12, he said, come. He invited us to another level, another level of the spirit realm and eat. He invited us to eat. Eat what? As I always say, revelation, knowledge. God is inviting us to some revelation. What is revelation? Me teaching. That's what it is. Me teaching. God said many of my people have been on miracle. And God says time out for the miracle. Mirk is for babies. Amen. I'm skillful. Amen. In the word of God. God said this is the meat hour. What time you say it is, Brother Lancaster? Meat hour. 
me hour is a revelation. Let's get ready to eat some ego food. Ego food is meat. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. The title of my message. Look at the screen. The title of the message today. is a continuation of last week. We are no more under the curse of the law part two let me say it again we are no more church world I'm down the curse of the law You know, Galatians, not Galatians, but Colossians 1 and 13 say, God has freed us from the power of darkness that he brought us into the kingdom of his dear son. Amen. Don't forget that. That's in Colossians 1 and 13, everybody. I know you don't see it on the screen. Amen. But this is what God brings in my spirit. He brings Colossians 1 and 13. He said, God, God has freed us from the power and we're going to find out who we free today the power of darkness and he brought us into the kingdom of his dear son glory to Whoa, let's give him the praise. Oh, glory. We are no more. God, I pray that this was stand in the people's spirit that hear my voice on today, God. I pray, God, that this revelation will sink deep down in the inside of the minds of your people that it will cause a change that it will cause an uproar all in our community in our churches that it will cause a revival that people will begin to cry out to you Listen, people, we are no more under the curse of the law. Hallelujah. Part two. Look at me, everybody. I want you to look at me. I want your undivided attention. Whatever you're doing, Whatever you're doing, we are no more under the curse of darkness. Christ Church have freed us. Jesus, 
Jesus. Look at the screen. Has freed us. Yes, he has. Jesus. Have freed us. And this is what God told me to tell you. Tell your people. That he has freed you. Look at me. Everybody, praise God. He have freed you. Amen. I don't know your name. I don't know your reputation. I don't know your occupation. I don't know where you come from. I don't know what title you hold. But God told me to tell you, amen, that no curse no more curse. We are free. Hallelujah. Glory. What's your name? God said. What's your name? Amen. What's your name? Yes. 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 God's talking to you. Yes. God, I don't even have to know your name. You hear my voice. I don't have to know your name. But God told me to tell you he loves you. He cares for you. And he said that you are no more. Glory to God under the curse. No more curse. We are free. Don't forget that. Thank God. The curse has been lifted. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The curse have been lifted. And that's what the Holy Ghost said. That's what I got in meditation. He said, Steve, my first name is Steve. He said, Steve, tell my people that the curse has been lifted. Glory to God. Ain't that exciting? Ain't that exciting, church, that the curse is lifted? Oh. Isn't that exciting? That the curse has been lifted up off in this world. Oh, glory to God. I tell you, I feel his presence. Let's look at the strange St. Matthew 11 and 15. We're going to go a little higher. He that has ears. Everybody. I done found out. As my walk in Christ. That everybody. That sitting in a pew of the church, or maybe on some on Facebook or YouTube or wherever media you might be on, or on the phone lines, I have found out church. That everybody don't have ears to hear. I found out that God's only talking to a set of people. I began to see in the spirit that there are people 
that don't have ears to hear. They can hear the doctors. They can hear the lawyers. They can hear, even in the White House, thank God for the White House. Bless them, Jesus. They can hear the doctors. Thank God for the doctors. They can hear the lawyers. Thank God for the lawyers. They can hear their boss, supervisor. Thank God for the supervisors. They can hear their best friend. Thank God for their best friend. They can hear mama. They can hear daddy. And they can hear sister. And they can hear brother. But they can't hear the Spirit of God. God is speaking. But world, who are paying attention? He that has ears. Let him what the Spirit woo is saying to the church. Hallelujah. What is the Spirit saying? And when I'm talking about the church, I'm not talking about a building. Because the church is the bodies of the believers. The whole house of Israel. And I'm not talking about the country Israel. I'm talking spiritual. So if you in the corner of mind, you will lose me. And you cannot hear me with what the Spirit is saying through me. Israel is the bodies of the believers. I don't know who you are. God's talking to you. No matter what the color of your skin, no matter what race we in, we love we all of God's creation. And God is talking to us. Thank God. The curse. Look at me. How? 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 The curse. Look at it now. How? How? Glory to God. Been lifted. Come on, let's get out of the place. Or every time I, I I keep saying that, I just keep feeling such of a presence of the anointing, the presence of God, that the curse have been lifted off. We're going to another level of mankind. Oh, glory to God. Thank God. Listen to me. Mankind. Can you hear me? We are free. Free from the curse. Listen to me now. I'm going a little higher. I am talking to mankind. You are free. Not because of what we done. Listen now. This is what God told me. But because what Christ done for us all. Glory. <laughs> he became our curse. Yes, you did. For the world, for you and me. See? He paid our debt. See, we was in debt under God. So that mankind, so that we can be free. Amen? The debt, listen to me, our debt has been paid in full. Now, I'm talking to the world. Now, I know some 
might not agree with me, but that's okay. I'm going to tell it the way God gave it to me. He said that the debt have been paid for mankind. Listen to me. Listen to me. You're free. God says so. Not Stevie Lancaster. God says so. We are the righteous of God through Christ. Now, that goes to another level. We, Christ, have made us righteous. Not because of our works. I'm talking to the church systems. I'm talking to religion. And I'm talking to the world. Everybody. The universe. Christ have made us righteous. And we are world righteous of God. Only not through our works through the body of Jesus Christ. He made us righteous. Right, some folks he made the world righteous. Now look what he said. John 3 and 16. But God so loved the world, mankind, that he gave his only begotten son. I didn't write this. Right before I got here over 2,000. 23 years ago that whosoever believeth in him not Stevie Lancaster not what's your name not Buddha not Muhammad or whoever it might be but whosoever believeth in him the Christ Jesus shall not perish. See, some people got to don't understand the Christ. The Jesus is today. Christ is the anointed one. Jesus, he was not just a man, but he was the universe. He was God himself put on a body. Call the body Jesus. That's in, Saint, that's in John 1 and 1. In the beginning was the word of God. The word was with God. And the word was God. The word became flesh. God himself, the creator of all things, was in a body. Shall not perish. Believe it, they say going to take God, but God put on a body. But have a lasting life. That's why we have to believe in Jesus. Because Jesus is the way and the truth and the life. John 3, 17. For God sent not his son into the world. Talk about this world to mankind. To condemn of all mankind. But that the whole universe, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add this. The world of the whole universe and all that dwells therein, that they might be saved, who's believing in me, that they might be saved, that might there the revelation. That's if world, if you believe the report. Now, if you don't believe the report, you still up under a curse because you don't believe the report. The report that you are free from the curse. Through Christ, he delivered the world. He that believes on him is not condemned, but he that believes is not is condemned already because of what? He, he, he died revelation and he What's your name? He can't not believe it. Only 
the way God is son of God. I don't care what title you hold, what position you hold in this world. You don't believe the report. You got your own self still in the bowels. You got your own self still in prison. But Jesus freed us. And there are some that set free from, from slavery and still wants to stay enslaved to sin. And Christ done freed us. Look at me. Look at me, everybody. Can we get ready to close? I just can't finish this. It's got to be a part three. Thank God that mankind, you are free. Listen now. Mankind is highly faithful. In God, God loved man. That's why he gave his life for man. He created man in his own image and his likeness. Looks in heaven. The only reason why some of us mankind can't see or attain it all because they are trying to attain these secrets, revelation and mysteries what Jesus done on Calvary with their carnal nature or their carnal mind. Well, my message to you today, it is finished. That is the purpose of God came into a dark evil world to free all of mankind from the curse of the law of sin and death. He did and every religion that's still teaching sin and condemnation is still teaching the order of the law. Jesus Christ. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the end of the law. Now let's go to Romans 5 and 19 because we get ready to close. For if by look at the void, as by one man how many one man disobey, many was made, made sinners. So by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. First man was carnal, second man was spiritual. The first man put us on the bondage, put us in a curse. But the second man delivered the world from the curse. For then much we be offered, Hebrews 9 and 26. For then much we be offered to have suffered since the foundation of the world. But now once in the end of the world, hey, he appeared to put away sin by the sanctification of himself. Somebody said the end of the world. Well, I've got news for you. Say, well, he's gonna take he's gonna do it at the end of the world. Let me tell you something. Glory, I'm gonna let me tell you a secret. A revelation. Don't forget it. Already, my end is already come. It came on Calvary. He put a end. To Steve, my first name is Steve. For the end has come upon all flesh. Christ put an end to the world, to the flesh. Flesh has no power. All power is in God's hand. I know it looks like it. I know it feels like it. I know it seems like it. But guess what? It's only temporary because it's finished. I already done passed from death unto life. And the reason why some cannot see it because you have not passed. You have not died yet. It's still walking in your flesh. You're still walking in your thoughts. And how many of you know that you're walking in your ways and your thoughts? You are still under the law. You are still under the curse. Hear me. Hear me, world. This is Hebrew 10 and 1. For the law have a shadow of good things to come. 
them sacrifice we could never be holy never could get rid of sin but the law good things them good things is revelation wisdom the things of the spirit realm according to first Corinthians the second chapter the whole chapter just read it first Corinthians the second chapter and just read the whole thing good things to come and not the very image of the thing you know what a shot is it ain't the real deal can never with those sacrifices and I'm afraid that there are many teachers today many of us ministers uh, I love my minister get me wrong now but there are many of our ministers and many of our religion are still teaching the law. Christ has set the world free. That is up to you to come about on that cell block. You're free. You're free. Whether you believe it or not, Christ has set us free. What is some of believe the words? And what that make the word? In the, in the Bible said, don't make the world of any effect. It's still done. It's finished. Christ has freed the world. And all the world got to do is believe it. Believe it. He that believe it's on me. Though he was dead, yet shall he live. To live without having a lot of money in the bank. Or having a lot of ladies or men on your side. A nice car, a nice ride, or whatever you might have. That ain't living. True living is in the spirit. Power the power of this natural realm into the realm of the spirit realm, which they offer you or by your continuing making come thereof unto perfection. Still, still, still. No matter you know, nothing we could do, all the riches that religion gave couldn't make us righteous. Christ came and graded us on the curve. You know what the curve is. We use a teacher. Teachers know what a curve is. When the teacher, when the student, the high student, make a make a a, a, not a, a, a passing grade on the test, and the test and the everybody fail, then that that D uh, that F uh, F score becomes a A, even though it's below C, it below uh, 70, 72 or sixty. So it becomes an A, it becomes become justified. And those upon it become B, C, on upon it, 50, and all that. That's great on the curve. That's to help the students. But let me tell you, but if, if the teacher gave what was due to the student, everybody will be in hell. And that's the same way as about the spirit realm. I said that to tell you a story, to tell you a mystery, to tell you a secret that Christ, if he were left up to us, we all will be in hell. Everybody got some kind of fault. Nobody is without fault. But because of the Christ, he praised us. He came out the 14th generation, which I'm in mean generation, and he died on the cross, walked all over Satan for you and for me. He grew 10 and 2. For then would they are not have a seat ceased to be offered because that the worship of one's parents shall have had no more conscience of sin. Listen, Hebrew 10, 10 and 3, but in those sacrifices, listen to me, listen to me, I'm getting ready to close, there is a remembrance again made of sin of every year. And that we can do. Amen. Hebrew 10 and 4, for it is not possible that the blood of, of, of bulls and of gold shall take away sins. Oh, glory. Hebrew 10 and 5. Wherefore, when he come, he in this world, he said, sacrifice of offer, thou would not, but a body. Look at that, a body. Hey, amen. Thou prepared for me. Look at that. Hebrew 10 and 6. He Bird of burning offering and sacrifice for sin. Thou hate no plant out, no matter what we try to do. But amen. Praise God. I don't, you can't give your way to come free. Amen. Some people feel like if you pay your tithe, now, I got nothing wrong with tithe, but I don't believe in paying tithe according to the law. I believe in paying tithe according to the realm of the spirit realm in the new order. Amen. Give what God has placed upon your heart. Amen. He has blessed you. You, amen. According to what the Spirit of God, amen, told you to give and bless. And that could be more than 10%. Amen. And we are in the grace. Amen. 
even more we should give. Not only money, but give ourselves, give our, give our time. Amen. Praise God. Give me just a three minutes because I know my time is, amen, is up. Hebrew 10 and 6, he buried the offerings and sacrificed of sin. Thou hate no pleasure. Look at that. Hebrew 10 and 7, then said, Lo, I come in the bottom of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O God. Listen to Christ. Look at this, Hebrew 10 and 8. And Bob, when he said, sacrifice that offering, and a burning offering, and an offering of sin, thou would not. Neither hate pleasure therein, which are offered by the Lord. Hebrew 10 and 9, then, then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God, to take away what? What? The first. We can never become free with the first. We always had the conscience of sin. Amen. But that belong. But now we under grace. By faith, we are saved. We're all. All you got to do is believe it. It ain't hard. Just believe upon the Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Man has made it hard. That he may establish the second. Nothing we could have done. Our righteous can't make us righteous. That's why God had to do it. He, Hebrew 10 and 10. By which we are, we are sanctified through who? The offer of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. He ain't coming back no more church to die for sin. He already died. I'm going to have to stop. I'm going to stop with this. He ain't coming back no more to die for sin. He done away with it. It's finished. We're free from sin. Galatians 5 and 18 said, but if ye be led by the Spirit, ye shall not. Ye are not under the law. Uh-uh. Men that are led by the Spirit of God are not under the law. I got I to gotta close. But let me say this before I close. I close with these thoughts. My wife and I were set in the backyard. You said Lancaster, all of this stuff going on, and you saying sin is done away with Jesus done, done delivers from sin. Don't look like he done nothing. I mean, you look in the flesh, it look like it ain't nothing done. Let me tell you something. We were sitting in our backyard, church. And as we were sitting in our backyard, we had a swing back there in the back. And my wife, went, uh, 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 we were sitting on this little, this two seat swing. And we looked and saw some bugs. We jumped up. They had scales on. A whole lot of them. We jumped and said, oh, look at these bugs. My goodness. And my son and about them playing in the backyard with our kids. And say, Daddy, 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 them things is not real. Them things, them things is they're just a shell. And look, look, Daddy, let's show you. And, and they went to touch it. And I said, oh, don't touch them things. Them things might bite you. They said, Daddy, it's not gonna bite. There's nothing in there. There's no life. They gone. They gone. It's just a shell. And they, and when they touched it, it just, just nothing but a shell. It just, just from just melted away. Nothing but a shell, all of them just don't melt it as they touch it. But let me tell you something. I say that to tell you this, church. Christ have freed us. It might not look like it. It might not seem like it. It might not feel like it. But I'm here to tell you, sin has been done away with you. Jesus hath freed us from sin. That's he that coming in the name of the Lord to take away the sins of this world. This world. Steve, world. My flesh. Your flesh. It has been coming. Look at me. I'm closing. Praise God. We're free. I don't care who said it. Who reports you want to believe? I believe the report of the Lord. We have been set free. Amen. From sin. Not because our righteousness, 
Our righteous filth of red. It's because of the righteous of God. And all the world got to do is believe it by faith. You got to receive it by faith. Faith. I am whole. I am a delivered from all sickness, pain, and diseases. I'm healed. I am whole from every demonic forces that the enemy have brought upon me. Amen. Amen. Next week, we're going to talk about those curses. Amen. We're going to tell you the different curses that, that was brought upon the world next week. I'm so glad you came out. Praise God. I'm so glad that you came.